It's a show of power and a parade of defiance against the West. Yes, we are talking about North Korea. The hermit nation held a lavish parade, showcasing its most potent weapons from its arsenal. And there were two interesting guests who watched the parade, sending a loud and a clear message to the world. The Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and the Chinese Communist Party's Politburo member Li Hongzhong stood beside the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the parade to mark the victory day. The day in fact commemorates the end of hostilities in the 1950-53 Korean War, showcasing his nuclear-capable missiles which have rattled the South and the Americans. Kim Jong-un rolled out the Hwasong-17 and the Hwasong-18 intercontinental ballistic missiles. And there was something new as well, the multi-purpose attack drones and strategic unmanned reconnaissance aircraft was also showcased. They were part of the demonstration and they circled about the sky, showcasing North Korea's advanced warfare mechanisms. And as the North Korean soldiers marched in unison, its leader Kim Jong-un was seen clapping from the balcony while watching the parade. And this, remember, is an annual feature in the capital city of Pyongyang. Before the parade, Kim Jong-un and the Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu held their talks. They discussed military matters related to the regional and international security environment in the backdrop of the Russian war in Ukraine. Russia and China are amongst the few countries that still maintain friendly relations with North Korea, a nation which has been heavily sanctioned and has been censured for its development of nuclear weapons and missiles. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.